This week at the Snapdragon Summit, Qualcomm took the wraps of the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Strong rumors are suggesting we are going to see this in the Galaxy S25 series, including the Ultra in 2025. Time to get excited. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. It's been almost 12 months with the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. That processor has enabled some impressive capabilities on the S24 Ultra, thanks to the camera and performance. But what we're seeing from the 8 Elite is going to blow all of that away. First, let's take a bit of a look at what the chipset is, and then we will sort of dive into what that actually might mean for a Galaxy S25 Ultra. Looking at Qualcomm's spec sheet, the first thing I noticed is that it's got a max frequency of 4.32 gigahertz. Huge jump in performance in terms of frequency and sort of ceiling of power. That's a 45% single core improvement and a 45% multi-core. Now there is some obviously test devices at the Snapdragon Summit this week. And we have seen at Sam Mobile some of the numbers that benchmarks are sort of outputting and it's crazy. So that means the ceiling of performance in what it's going to output is going to be phenomenal. As far as graphics goes, it has a 40% performance improvement for gaming and a 35% improvement for ray tracing. And it's also going to give phones a 45% speed boost for neural processing, meaning that generative AI and sort of AI in general is going to get a massive boost, especially on device stuff. But above all else, there is going to be some performance savings where it's going to actually conserve power whilst also having increased performance. There is 44% CPU, 40% GPU, and overall a 27% saving in power alongside that increase in performance, which is just a crazy sort of stat to think about, although probably needed when we reflect on the S24 Ultra. Qualcomm have clearly been cooking because these numbers are seriously impressive. There's a lot of overall numbers and improvements that we could go through, but you can go and read about them on our website, sammobile.com. We have all of the lowdown of everything and all the numbers and what it all means as far as the 8 Elite is concerned. What we're interested in is the update to the S24 Ultra, the S25 Ultra. So the first thing that I guess we can anticipate based off those numbers that we just saw is a hefty increase to battery life. There were a lot of questions about the S24 Ultra's battery inside here. From myself included, I definitely noticed a shift from the S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra in sort of not lasting as long. If the numbers that we saw are anything to go by, we could be in for a very long lasting battery, just from an optimization point of view. The efficiency gains paired with One UI 7 and built from the ground up software that Samsung are sort of bringing to the table should see definitely improved sort of usage times across the board. But that's going to be where the heavy lifting has to come from because if the rumors are true, we're not seeing an increase in capacity to the 5,000 milliamp hour from the S24 Ultra. So it's going to be the processor and One UI that's going to have to do all of that heavy lifting from an efficiency point of view. You can also probably anticipate there'll be proper cooling on board, especially as seeing how every year Samsung seems to improve the size of the vapor chamber and the cooling capabilities to make sure the processor can run at peak performance and sustained performance longer and with a processor that has this level of performance they will want to make sure it can maintain it over a long period of time the second thing to look forward to is to do with the cameras with the s24 ultra and pretty much ever since samsung started using qualcomm again they were able to rapidly develop camera modes and processing capability thanks to the improved isp and processor on board over the years they've had things like single take they've been able to bring in They've had things like being able to do 8K30 with the S23 Ultra. You've got dual recording in 4K on the S24 Ultra, which is crazy. It can record from two cameras at once, 4K 120 in pro video mode. The new processes allow for that extra capability to be had. So with the S25 Ultra, what I am hoping for, this is a fingers crossed moment, is expanded video modes. Because with a new custom built from the ground up ISP for the Snapdragon 8 Elite, I'm hoping that Samsung could take advantage of the extra processing that it can have and allow for more data and information to be captured using the sensors and the phone. That way you get more information, 
and you'll be able to do more with the videos that you take. So I hope that with all of that information and that knowledge, Samsung can take full advantage of that new ISP and the processor together to really bring some optimized and well-performing camera modes so it just sort of further expands what the phone can already do. A lot of people will say that the processing of photos needs to be cleaned up and the Samsung needs to fix dynamic range or sort of zoom. And I guess that will all come with it, but the phone can do so much and I'm hoping it can just do more. The last facet that we should be excited by is AI and Galaxy AI. With the improvement on paper to the NPU performance, the neural processing, we should definitely see some improvements to Galaxy AI's capabilities. The thing that I'm most excited for is to see more on-device stuff come to the phone. Rather than things needing to be go to the cloud and get processed there and then come back, I'm hoping we can get some on-device processing that's snappy and fast and just helps with day-to-day -day stuff. I'm guessing AI will likely tie into the camera. The Qualcomm 8 Elite has capabilities for things like AI pet mode, I saw, and also video object eraser, which is just going to be a crazy feature. I know that was rumored for last year and some other brands sort of have it, but from what I can see, it's going to be on device object eraser for videos. That will be awesome. And also probably puts a lot of trust and privacy into the hands of the user. Creativity aside, I'm more excited to see what Samsung do with productivity and Galaxy AI. They've got some exceptional Galaxy AI features when it comes to productivity already especially Samsung Notes Assist, stuff to do with the browser and summarizing stuff. I really hope they can expand into more Galaxy's ecosystem when it comes to apps, things like Calendar, things like Reminder. And I'm hoping we can see that sort of branch out and become an on-device AI assistant almost using the Snapdragon 8 Elite and its advantages in your processing. Looking beyond the S24 and looking ahead to next year, well, I guess the S25 is next year. The Z Fold series, which and Z Flip series, will likely also be using the 8 Elite processor. Whether Samsung do an 8 Elite for Galaxy, especially with how advanced this chipset already is, remains to be seen. Although seeing TMRO on stage at the Snapdragon Summit this week gives me hope that they still have that collaboration and that partnership in mind. And with Samsung being probably Qualcomm's largest mobile manufacturer in terms of customer base, you can imagine that Samsung would be pushing that pretty hard and trying to make sure they get the best and most exclusive version of this chipset. Back to my point though, I'm excited to see what Samsung do with a Fold with the 8 Elite, especially as the Fold series, people demand that power, that performance. And if we see a upgraded Fold next year with maybe more screen real estate, maybe more capabilities in terms of productivity, definitely keen to check that out and could even pave the way for a Fold 7 Ultra. If you're listening, Samsung, I'd like to place my order for that right now. Let me know what aspects of the S25 Ultra you're looking forward to, not from a design point of view, because at the moment we kind of have an idea of the direction Samsung are heading based on leaks, more from a performance. What are we hoping this 8 Elite can do for One UI 7? and the S25 Ultra's bevy of features that it's going to have. Hit subscribe to Mobile TV. Make sure you do go check out our website when it comes to all of the latest updates regarding the S25 Ultra. We have a dedicated section set up just for that. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.